So this next one, hit enter, change it to zero. What's up guys, it's been a while. So I figured it was about time to make another YouTube tutorial. So here we go. A good friend of mine recently introduced me to Cheat Engine. He's a programmer, he showed me the way and we figured out, well we figured, hey, let's try to hack Jump King. And we figured it out, so I'm just here to short share it to you. All right, so first off, the first thing you gotta do is you gotta get Cheat Engine. Uh, it's a free software, all you need to do is go to Google, type in Cheat Engine. Uh, the first link you click on will look like this. Uh, you want to get Cheat Engine 7.0. That's the most recent uh, revision that got out there. Just hit the download button, follow the links. Uh, there's like one step in there where it tries to get you to download some like spam stuff that you don't need. Just make sure you uncollect, uh, unclick those before you move forward and you should be good to go. If you need help uh, figuring that out, like to actually what buttons to click, just let me know and I'll, I'll help you out in like messages or on Discord or something. Uh, and I'll put a link to my Discord as well as the Cheat Engine website in the description below. All right, so once you download Cheat Engine, this is what the interface looks like. Um, it, it looks a lot more intimidating than it is, but then again, Jump King doesn't make it any easier because Jump King is inverted. We'll get to that. First thing you wanna do in Cheat Engine is you wanna click on your uh, monitor little icon up here on the top left and you want to make sure jump king is selected and you'll know it's selected because it'll say jump king exe right here in the the center so before we go forward I'm, I'm, i'll go ahead and get, i'll try to give you a rundown of what's going to happen so jump king is a 2d platformer so in 2d you have two axes you have your x-axis and your y-axis well jump king is all about going up you don't go left and right much you just you go left and right within your frames but you always are going up because you're trying to get to the you know the girl at the top so what Cheat Engine allows you to do is it allows you to look for values in the game and then manipulate them however you want to. So the idea is we're going to use Cheat Engine to find our Y value in the game. And then using that Y value, we can teleport anywhere we want to on the Y axis. So we can go from the bottom to the top in a split second. But there's some caveats in there and I'll explain that as we go. So the biggest thing to know how to do this is jump king is inverted so typically on a y-axis if you go up your number gets bigger if you go down your number gets smaller jump king decided to throw that generic normal rule out the window and they made their own rule so here's here's how we do this so scan type we don't know we're just gonna act like we don't know anything so value set that to all because we don't know what type of value we're looking for and scan type set it to unknown initial value so we're just looking for everything. And we're gonna go ahead and hit first scan. And that basically was like, all right, cool. We scanned, we found a whole bunch of files. What do you wanna do with it? So we're trying to find the Y value. So we need to start changing stuff and filtering down our results. So to do that, we're gonna take Jump King and we're gonna move up one. But moving up, which would normally you think it would be an increased value, it's not, where it's a decrease value. So we're gonna select decrease value, we're gonna to go to Jump King, and we're gonna move up. And then we're gonna hit next scan. So then we're gonna go back to Jump King and we're gonna jump up again. Also, forewarning, stay in the same frame. Don't, don't go up, don't let the camera shift into a different frame, stay in this one. So we jumped up again, decrease value, next scan. So now we're gonna go back to Jump King and we're gonna fall. So our Y value is now flipped so we just increase our Y value. Next scan. We're gonna go down, increased, next scan. Let's just go up one more. So now we decreased our value, next scan. So now just to help filter down these results, we're gonna to change to an unchanged value. We're sitting on a platform, we're not moving, and we're just gonna hit next scan, you know, let's say four or five times. And now that we do that, we're gonna go back to Jump King and let's go up again. What does up mean? Increase, now it's inverted, we actually decrease. It's stupid, I can't, I don't know. I don't know why it does that. So now we're gonna drop down, which is an increase value, next scan. And literally you just keep repeating this over and over and over, and so we whittle down those results. Like we're at 33, but well we went up, decrease, next scan, we're still at 33. 
up, decrease, increase, 24. We're going to go to unchanged, filter through some. So here's where it starts getting tricky. So I'm just, I'm giving time and I'm just hitting unchanged because I'm trying to whittle it down and we're down to 12. Now that's, that's pretty good. It's really good. So we know that one of these values will manipulate our Y axis. So what I'll do is I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna jump. And as I'm jumping, I'm watching this value, right? I'm watching all these values. This is hard to determine, but we know that the numbers are inverted and just for sake of time, I'm gonna to explain to you that you can right click any of these values and hit change value selected address and just slightly change them and see if your character moves. But since these three numbers are all the same, 302, 302, 302, I'm gonna assume it's one of these. Uh, these are also the same, but I'm looking for round numbers because I want life to be easy. So I'm gonna go with these 302s and I'm gonna um, grab them, holding control and clicking them all. And then I'm gonna click this little arrow to bring them all down here. So now that I have them down here, I can click on my value, hit enter, and since it's inverted, I want to go up. So I need to make my value smaller. And I'm going to make this value zero and I hit enter. Nothing happened. That's fine. I'll have that selected. I'm going to delete it because that's not the one I care about. So this next one, hit enter, change it to zero. We found our value. So with that knowledge, we're going to click on the one that we don't care about and delete it. And we have our value and we have hacked Jump King. So with that, what I recommend is play the game, right? You're just playing the game as normal. I'm surprised I haven't completely messed this up since I'm videoing it. But whenever you get to a point in the game where you're on a platform and you have to do a whole bunch of jumps to get up right above you, align yourself with the platform above you. Go down here and just say, ah, negative 442, Smaller number, let's go, let's start small. Let's go negative 460, hit enter. Okay, that wasn't enough, all right. Let's go negative 490, hit enter. Okay, that was close. Let's go, let's go negative 500. Okay, so it's not enough. So you gotta, you kinda gotta mess with a little bit. I found that 200 is pretty much like half the screen. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do negative 600. And I teleported pretty high up and I made it up. So 200 was half the screen. So let's go negative 400, which would make this negative 922. And I just went up a full frame. Keep going up and I would play the game regularly where you know you can, but like instead of going from here to the right and up and up and up, eh, so let's go, I said 200, need 400. So let's just go negative 1600. Negative 1600, hit enter, bam. All right, well above me is another safe thing, so let's just keep going up. Let's go uh, negative 1800, bam. It's so easy. People say they can't beat this game. I don't. I just don't understand why. You can literally climb straight to the top. Little cheat too, if you're quick, if you're in windowed mode and you can go left to right really quick, if you teleport Jump King inside of a wall, and you switch back to Jump King really quick and hit jump, even though you're in a wall and you're falling, it still acts like you're on a wall, so you can actually jump to the next frame. I'm gonna try to demonstrate that. So I'm gonna go negative 2100. There would be a little shortcut there. Let's do this again. Let's go negative 2200. And then I'll go back to the game and I jump. I jump out of it, I fall. Most of the time you can see if there's a slant above you so you wouldn't jump, but oh, I fell, let's just go negative 2000, back to where I started. It's amazing, it's easy, don't abuse it. Do not give me <coughs> in the <coughs> chat for showing you how to do this. I know a lot of people who work really hard to beat this game, people who spend, you know, 30 hours are gonna hate me for, you know, just giving everyone the answer of how to beat this on their own. But, I mean, hey, why not? If you can do it, you can do it. 
All right, well, I hope you liked this video. Uh, if you need any explanations at all, let me know in the description. Hit me up, send me a message on preferably Discord, and I'll get back with you. I'll walk you through it. Um, it's fun. Enjoy it. Beat it. And go get your babe waiting for you at the top. Please subscribe to this video. Let me know if you need any more tutorials. And I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.